Jiang Jing dies, but the battle for China's history rages on. This is Mim Notes and Commentary from the Maoist Internationalist Movement. Jiang Jing, the leader of the Gang of Four during China's Cultural Revolution, has died, according to the Chinese government. The 77-year-old widow of Chinese Communist Party chairperson Mao Zedong had devoted her life to the Chinese people and their revolution. She was first an actress at a time when theater was a countercultural center of activism. Later, she served as an advisor to Mao and political leader on cultural affairs. And finally, as Mao grew older, she assumed greater leadership over the course of the Cultural Revolution, which lasted from 1966 to 1976. While the American press and the current fascist Chinese government pour scorn on Jiang Jing even in death, her story is one of unrelenting courage and commitment. It is no wonder that her most dedicated detractors are the current Chinese leadership. These are the very same people, people against whom Mao and Jiang struggled throughout the Cultural Revolution. Mao is still too popular in China to be denounced openly by the government, so instead it has concocted a story of Mao as a senile old man led astray by Jiang and the other members of the Gang of Four. But a cursory reading of Mao's own writings shows the fallacy of this claim. The Cultural Revolution was intended to weed out the corrupt and capitalist elements in the Chinese government and Communist Party. Mao mentioned by name and condemned most of the very people who are now in power in China. Jiang and the Gang of Four followed his theoretical leadership to the end, attempting to prevent the very sequence of events which has now occurred, right up to and including the massacre of demonstrators in Tiananmen Square two years ago this month. Jiang's death, rumored to have been a suicide, may have been timed to coincide with the anniversary of the massacre, which was condemned by true followers of Mao everywhere. Jiang never repented or confessed. She maintained that Deng Xiaoping and the other leaders of the coup which deposed her were the worst agents of capitalism in China, who would lead China toward totalitarianism under the false name of communism. This is exactly what happened. The history of the Chinese Cultural Revolution is a long and complicated one. There were very few Western journalists in the country at the time, and travel within the country was extremely difficult. While there are many personal tales of brutality and hardship, there are few overall analyses which reflect any deep understanding of the course of the Chinese Revolution. Under these conditions, the rewriting of history has been carried on mercilessly. The most common horror story of the Cultural Revolution is the persecution of intellectuals. While an extremely small sector of the population were removed from academia and introduced to productive labor, which was for them a tortuous experience, the great majority of Chinese people, peasants and workers, benefited directly from this struggle. Some of these intellectuals have made it to the West, where their books are eagerly published. But who speaks for the peasants of China, who make up 15 percent of the world's population? The process of revolution cannot be pleasant at all times for all people. That is a romantic view held only among the privileged few, many of whom live in America. Open-minded Americans need to ask themselves who they believe and why, and on what evidence. The life and death of Jiang Jing is another chapter in this history and another battle in this ongoing struggle. It is a struggle which is crucial to understanding the course of socialism not only in China but in the rest of the formerly socialist world. Mim notes and commentary always urges its listeners to think long and hard, to be prepared to challenge the conventional wisdom pounded into us by the American ruling classes. The truth is out there, however long the road to reaching it, however great the sacrifices required of those who will find and uphold it. Let the life and death of Comrade Jiang Jing be a beacon in that search. Never trust a hero's mortal enemies to write the last word. Write to us at the following address for a reading list of historical materials on the Chinese Revolution and begin to see for yourself. For more information, send your questions or comments to Mim Notes and Commentary, Mim Distributors, P.O. Box three five seven six, Ann Arbor, Michigan four eight one zero six, or write to this station. <laughs> 